Canada and Montana, October 26, 2023, where the first snow of the year fell and covered many areas there. The first snow of the year, here it is. This is our tradition, we always do this. Calgary's first snow, 2023. Instant blizzard. The first major snowfall of the season has arrived in Calgary, with Environment Canada warning that 10 to 25 centimeters could fall before it lets up later on Tuesday. The agency says snowfall melts may vary significantly with cold temperatures potentially worsening road conditions on through the evening. Morning, friends. It's Fire Love Diva Terre in Helena, Montana. Just a quick... Uh, no update. We've got. Oh my gosh. Oh wow. On Tuesday afternoon, Environment Canada said the Calgary airport recorded 13 centimeters of snowfall, while areas in South Calgary reported 11 centimeters. In general, the agency said the Calgary area has so far received about 10 to 20 centimeters of snow. Environment Canada says snowfall across Calgary and much of southern Alberta should end by Tuesday evening with a chance of flurries overnight. Police post on the social media site X at about 1.30 p.m. that motorists should avoid West Bonsuni Trail at Cersei Trail and well, W. it was bound to happen in Calgary. Can't complain. Westbound traffic was expected to be closed for several hours. According to 511 Alberta, most major roadways throughout the city remain partially covered with snow and ice as Tuesday evening. Temperatures in the Calgary area are expected to remain cold throughout the week. A snowfall warning for Calgary was lifted Tuesday morning. Environment Canada say they have no lifted warnings across the province, but the one remains in place for the Pinchers Creek area. The city of Calgary says crews are working around the clock to respond to the down. snow and are applying Oof. material to help minimize icy uh, build-ups. The city says additional been, contracted been, resources have been activated to help minutes. respond to the snow. There's a, a bit of snow here today. That's how much it snowed last night. A spokesperson with City of Calgary Mobility said crews are well prepared for the first signs of winter. Snow. They've been preparing for this for at least a few weeks now. They have crews getting their equipment ready, they're getting the work plans ready, they're applying anti-icing and materials to those trouble spots like bridge and hills and intersections. Drivers should take care and give themselves more than to reach their destination. The young guys. Oh my god, nang lamig. First is no po oh, haya si buddy. Oh. Onik tanda po se. They no longer in those dry weather conditions, so when you head out on your commute, you might notice a little more slick conditions. In city initially focuses primarily on major routes such as Crowchall Trail and Gilmore Trail. The mustard seed says its shelters are oversubscribed as the when the weather settles in. This is Tita Gurley. Here, look at this. The agency's director of shelter operations say that as the temperatures drops, the organization is seeing an increase in demand for its service. She says the mustard seed is looking for to quest, gloves, socks, boots, and other warm clothing for the city's most vulnerable. <laughs> This is Wednesday morning over here and that yard is just 
Lowe's says the monster seek works closely with Alba House and the drop-in center to ensure everyone has a safe space to stay, especially when it gets cold. Meanwhile, the first major snowstorm of the season dropped up to a foot of snow in the Helena, Montana area by Wednesday, sending an army of snowplows and sand trucks out onto the roads. Residents woke up to swirling snow and sound of shuffles and sidewalks just days after temperatures rose into the lower 80s. Trees decked out in fall colors and some Halloween decorations were weighted down with snow. Helena Public Schools canceled six school bus routes Wednesday morning, but no schools were closed. The National Weather Service warned of hazardous travel on snowy mountain passes and ice on some highways when snow initially melts and the freezes as road temperatures drop also close. Low scrap now of the highways, streets, and parking lots and sand was scattered on roads to increase traction as the Montana. The first snowfall of the season is always the most dangerous because people just aren't used to it yet. A meteorologist with the National Weather Service in Great Falls said drivers aren't used to dealing with less traction, slower speeds, and longer stopping distance. Um, with my son, the roads are, are horrible, horrible. He should, it Cold air moving down from northwestern Canada has combined with a most Pacific weather system, leading to freezing temperatures and expected snowfall in Washington's northern Cascade Mountains in the mountains of Montana. Some higher elevation in the northern Rockies could see snow totals of 2 feet or more. After the first wave of snow, it was Helena that saw the most accumulation, with a couple spots reporting 13 inches of snow. However, the official site at the airport had half that amount, said chief meteorology for the National Weather Service. Some towns in central Montana reported 10 inches of snow while other areas along Rocky Mountain Front had 6 to 8 inches of snow as the storm moved east. There was black ice on roads as the storm moved into the Billings area in southeastern Montana, the state's Department of Transportation said. Uh -huh. The first wave of snow in western Montana ended at midday Wednesday, <laughs> and a second round less widespread and with much less accumulation. Helena tied recording pressures in the lower 80s late last week, which is about 25 degrees above average for this time of year.